The oil and gas industry will be working to get into compliance this year with new EPA regulations on methane emissions. Those new regulations came out in December. Not only that, the Inflation Reduction Act added a fee to those emissions, which could prove to be costly. Tyler Dupnik joins us tonight in the studio. And Tyler, how will this impact energy production? Yeah, Crystal, the concern is that it will make production more costly and subsequently things more expensive for consumers. There are many small producers and operators here in the Permian Basin. And if the regulations plus the fee become too expensive for them to handle, potentially losing their production could have a noticeable effect. The new year might not be so happy for oil and gas producers. This is the first time that the EPA has, has regulated methane emissions. Those regulations call for the end of routine flaring, which prompts the need for improved pipeline infrastructure. As far as flaring goes and making the need for flaring irrelevant, uh, here in the United States, we really do need permitting reform because there are areas where we don't have takeaway capacity to get that gas to market. Um, and, and have a useful use for it. So in some instances, you don't have, you know, you don't have a lot of other options other than flaring. Tim Tarpley is president at Energy Workforce and Technology Council, and he says another regulation requires monitoring methane emissions for facilities of a certain size. In regards to methane emissions, the, the, the solution is, tech, is a technological solution, it is improving that detection technology and um, quickly fixing leaks when they do occur. The oil and gas industry started that work even before these regulations. Optical technology that can be placed uh, right outside of facility on, on that property and can monitor the equipment on that facility for any methane leaks. Again, quickly identifying problems and fixing them. Finding the balance between production and emissions is the goal. We can have energy security. We can have the necessary amount of energy that the United States needs and that the world needs. And we can do that at the same time that we're working to lower emissions um, for all the reasons that, you know, that we mentioned with the, the technological solution um, and building, making sure we have the uh, energy infrastructure in place to move uh, energy as we need. With oil and gas companies voluntarily lowering methane emissions and now working into compliance with these new regulations, the potential fee could be a challenge. We think the fee is, is unnecessary. Um, and it, it will just add at a cost to this to the energy system, which at the end of the day is going to add a cost to everything we do in the United States. Now, taking a closer look at the fee, Tarpley told me that it will impact facilities who release over 2,500 metric tons of methane annually. So, for example, if a company emits 2,501 metric tons of methane, the fee will be $900. If a company emits 2,510 metric tons of methane, the fee will be $9,000. The base fee is $900 in 2024 per metric ton. That will rise to $1,200 in 2025 and $1,500 in 2026. Chris